Okay, welcome back once again. I am going to continue with my discussion of different uh, types of problems regarding uh, unit circle and the six trigonometric functions. Okay, if sine theta is equal to negative three fourth, and it should be on the third quadrant, why? Because pi is equal to 180 degrees and 3 pi divided by 2 so if we use that that uh, this is region so when we have pi 180 that is equivalent to that is 1 and this is 90 so then we have 270 degrees so that means we are in third quadrant and our y value there is negative three-fourth so if i'm going to put here that's negative three-fourth there you go then uh, my theta now is this one Or if you want to start with, with the origin, then this is our data, okay? And uh, we know that this is the y value is negative 3 fourth, that is our sine. Then we need to find the cosine data, okay? And we know that cosine is negative there, so we have negative cosine theta. So we have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. So we have cosine squared theta is equal to, what was that? Um, 1 minus sine squared theta. So we have cosine theta is equal to negative squared of, because we have negative there, 1 minus negative 3 fourth squared. And then we have negative uh, squared of 1 minus, that is 9 sixteenth. And then we have negative squared of, we have 16 minus 9 divided by 16. Then we have negative squared of 7 divided by 4. So our cosine theta is negative squared of 7 divided by 4. Now we have tangent theta. We can use another color. Tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta. So we have sine theta is negative 3 fourth divided by have negative squared of 7 fourth. And this will become 1. Why? Because it should like, look like this. 3 fourth multiplied by the reciprocal of that. Negative 4 divided by squared of 7. That's why that is negative. Then we have negative, negative, that will become positive, 3 divided by squared of 7. But if you multiply both numerator and denominator by squared of 7, then we have 3 squared of 7 divided by 7. As you can see here, uh, tangent is positive in the first quadrant and in third quadrant we got tangent, theta is equal to positive. 3 multiplied by square root of 7 divided by 7. Let's see. Another example. Tangent A is equal to negative 2. That means where our quadrant is, is, is the fourth quadrant. That's why it is negative 2. Tangent is. So that means this is our theta. We're going to find sine, uh, no, cosine theta and sine theta. That is what we're going to find. Um, 
cosine is positive here, but sine is negative. So we're going to find the negative uh, value of sine theta. Okay, and uh, we know that tangent theta is equal to sine theta divided by cosine theta. So we have which is equal to negative 2. That means sine theta is equal to negative 2 cosine theta. If we multiply both sides of the equation by cosine theta, then we get this. Okay, identity. And then our identity, we have sine theta is equal to, um, ah, not equal to, plus cosine that is squared, cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Okay, and we have sine theta is negative 2, negative 2 cosine theta squared, that's squared, it's, it is allowed to do this, so this uh, notation sine squared theta is the same as sine theta parenthesis squared, but it is not the same as sine theta squared. They are not the same, but they are the same. Okay, they are equal. Plus cosine squared theta is equal to, F, to 1. Then we have 4 cosine squared theta, the square of that, plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Then we have 5 cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Divide both sides of the equation by 5. Then we have cosine squared theta is equal to 1 fifth. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Then we have cosine theta is equal to 1 divided by square root of 5. And then if we multiply both numerator and denominator by square root of 5, then we have square root of 5 divided by 5. That is our cosine theta. Then we have found cosine theta, which is the positive value. Okay? Um, how about the sine? You know, here we have sine theta is equal to uh, negative 2 cosine theta. Ah. We substitute the value of cosine theta, which is square root of 5 divided by 5 multiplied by. Then we have negative 2 square root of 5 divided by and that is the negative value. We already have negative. Okay, let's see if there are more. Here we go. Uh, find the two angles theta on the unit circle with 0 to 2 pi. Because they use 2 pi here, then we're going to use radians. Okay, if they use uh, degrees, then we're going to use degrees. So cosine that is here, actually. Uh, one third is almost 0 0.33. So if we can use that. Almost there. That means this is your. And that one. So that means this is your. Uh, data. And this is also your theta. Okay. Or the coterminal of that is this one. Negative theta. Okay. So we have. And to solve that we have for A. We have cosine theta. Is equal to one third. So theta is equal to um, cosine, the arcs, arc cosine, one third. And that is equivalent in region measures. We're going to use my calculator now. 
you have the screen receiver there you can see that cosine shift cosine 1 divided by 3 and that is in degree I don't know why because I already put that in region I'm going to put my mine in region and uh, that's still degrees that in region okay then I you have 1.23 region so our data is our data is 1.23 region and that is uh, then we have also our um, up to 2 pi so we have 2 pi minus 1.23 so if we go back there we have 2 pi minus uh, answer shift ans there you go then we have 5.05 .05. our data is equal to also 5.05 .05. so this angle this angle is um, 1.23 and this angle the red one is equal to negative and uh, not negative 5.05 .05. this is the negative 1.23 the green angle okay let's try another the b sine theta is equal to 3 fourth our y is 3 fourth almost there there you go that means we have our data there and we have our another data let's take blue there okay so this is this one is a three four we have sine theta is equal to three four and then theta is equal to arc sine three four So we have arc sine 3 divided by 4. Then we have 0 0.85, almost 85. Theta is 0 0.85. And also theta is, we have pi here. We have pi here, actually here. So we have pi minus 0 0.85. Point eighty five. So we have shift pi minus shift ans. We have two point twenty nine. Two point twenty nine. So those are your two. The red one is zero point eighty five, and the blue one is two point twenty nine. Now let's take two tangent theta is equal to 2 that means we have tangent theta is equal to 2 so theta is equal to uh, arctan 2 arctan 2 and we have 1.11 Theta is 1.11. Oh, I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to put it that uh, where it is. 2. It should be almost here. Oh, let's say it's it here. That means that's my data. So if I'm going to continue here, then I have another data. Okay. 
okay so that means this is up here it's pi so my black one now is or the gray one pi plus 1.11 so shift pi plus shift ans then we have 4.25 theta okay so i hope you learned something from the examples i have given you and uh, in my next uh, series of videos i will be discussing unit circle uh, with uh, regards to spatial angles not angels angles i discussed this actually but by using pythagorean theorem but now i'm going to use the unit circle and then you can see that it is the same okay see you then and have a nice day